fish. Oh, yes. Note to self, if you go fishing when there's possible rain, fish somewhere where you can be close to the car. Fish, fish. Ooh, guys, it is a hot one today. Earlier today, it broke 100 and it's probably 95 now. Uh, it might rain though, so I don't know. Might cool off a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't pour down raining because I'm a, far, a decent amount away from the car. So I might get soaking wet today, I don't know. But anyways, welcome back to another episode of Tyler Goes Fishing. I'm Tyler, today I'm going fishing. And today I'm gonna be trying out Guggen Squad Lunker Hunt, or not, not Lunker Hunt, Lunker Logs, excuse me. Six inch and what is it, uh, baby bass pattern or color, whatever. Probably gonna do wacky rig, maybe Texas rig. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We're just gonna try it in this creek right here and we're gonna see if we can catch anything. And I can already feel the beads of sweat pouring down my body. <laughs> Let's just get to it. You know what, I already have this one set up for a uh, wacky rig. Just take this soft plastic off, the Bass Pro Shop one. Caught me a fair amount of fish last weekend. They use a lot of packaging for these things. Man, I... This O-ring might be a little too small. It's getting, it's pretty hard to get it up there. I feel like I'm tearing the soft plastic apart. I might just have to Texas rig it, I don't know. We'll give it a shot though. Yeah, uh, I guess I'm not gonna wacky rig this because I literally am tearing this thing in half. Just trying to get the O-ring on there, so yeah. Texas rig it is. I'll, I'll keep these for maybe possible Ned rigs. I'm gonna use a wide gap hook. Let's see, wide gap worm hook, eagle claw, laser sharp. Get that tied on there. I'm not gonna put a weight on it. This thing's big enough. It's probably easy enough to cast on its own, heavy enough to cast on its own. I feel like I should have a bigger hook for it, but you know what? This is what I got and this is what I'm gonna work with, so let's just go with it. Yeah, it casts just fine. See, it's a slow-ish sinker. Nice little wiggle to the bottom. Visibility of the water is okay. It seems a little low than, than normal. Oh, is that a bite already? Yes, it was, and I pulled way too hard and it flew behind me, but that was definitely a bite. Oh, the plastic's already kind of messed up. See here? I thought I, got it. I thought I got it snagged on the bottom, but no, I had a bite. Basically right there in front of me. Try to get it right back in that same spot. Yeah, the water's definitely low. Not sure why. We definitely had rain, but oh well. I know last time I was here, I caught a nice bass right there. There's a nice little pocket right there. So I don't know, I'm gonna fish both of them, see what happens. Oh, fish. Oh, yes. Get up here, get up here, get up here. Not a bad one, guys, not a bad one. He took off with it too. Man, nice, nice little guy. He got some damage on him right there. Ooh, got him on the outside of the mouth, technically. There we go, came out. This guy's a little bit of a stunted tail or broken tail. Yeah, see, look at that, look at that tail. A little skinny, he could be better, but you know what? Uh, all this sweating so far is turning out to be worth it because I caught myself a nice little bass right here. Good stuff, first bass of the day on the Guggen uh, Lunker Logs. Look at that tail. All beat up, and he's got that wound right there. Crazy. Awesome. Let's get him back. I got you, fella. Bye-bye. Thank you for participating in my video, sir. Mm. Fish number one. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop. All right, lunker logs looking pretty good. Nice. 
Let's go for fish number two. I know I complain about the heat during the summer, but the fishing is just so much better. So, you know, you gotta take the, the bad with the good, you know what I mean? Like this winter was brutally cold and just the fishing was awful, just awful. Fish in the summer is not too bad. So I'll take hot and good fishing over cold and basically nothing. Ooh, that's a big bowfin right in front of me. Oh, I think I scared him, he was right there. Oh, oh, take it. He took it. He took it. He took it. Right. Oh, he let go of it. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see that? He was chilling out right there. I threw it in front of its face and it pounced on it. Oh, I wish you guys could see that. That was so cool. <laughs> He's probably way scared now and won't bite again. Oh well, that's how it goes. Could have been my PB, I don't know. Could be exaggerating too. <laughs> it's getting a lot breezier and it's making me think it's gonna rain soon, but I don't know. It bites pretty good right now. I mean, got one bass and got one both into bite. I don't know, kind of don't want to leave. Holy moly, that was loud. That scared me. I can hear the rain coming, dang it dude. Oh. The weather radar doesn't look like a lot of rain, like for an extended period of time. I can maybe wait it out under a tree or something. Not a lot of places to do that here though. Note to self, if you go fishing when there's possible rain, fish somewhere where you can be close to the car. God dang it dude, it's like a torrential downpour now. God dang. Should have remembered the umbrella. Well, that was a wet 10 minutes, but I think the worst is over. Uh, it was just one big red red blob on the, on the weather radar going straight over my location. And it doesn't look like there's gonna be anything else. So maybe just a few more minutes under this tree cowering and uh, we can get back to business. Now, wait a minute. This looks like a stethoscope, doesn't it? Kind of, or some sort of machinery, but it looks like a stethoscope for the scope parts up here. And you put the little tray right there. It's probably not, it probably it's some sort of other machinery part or something, I don't know. Yeah, thunder, I hear you, blah, 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 who cares? Fish, yes, stay on, stay on. Ooh, is this a small bass? Get out of that tree. Yeah, small bass. It's a little guy, but he is number two of the day. Ah, chill. Yes, there we go. Wasn't even sure I had you on there, fella. Here we go, fish number two on the Guggen Lunker log. Very pretty. Little guy, little dink, but you know what? You guys know, of course, I will take these guys all day, every day. Bye bye, fella. 
oh, finally, finally on my second fish. Little guy went after the big old Texas rig too. Yeah, I could definitely use a bigger hook on this bigger soft plastic, but oh well. Oh, bite, 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 bite. Oh, I missed whatever it was. And I got a stick too. <laughs> Man, this soft plastic is getting beat up. These, I don't, I don't know, man, the, I've, I've worked with a lot of cheaper brands of soft, soft plastic and uh, this one, they it seems to be ripping up really easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know if I can Texas rig it from that end anymore. Let's try from the other end, the, the pointy end. Stick them with the pointy end. Comment below if you get that reference. Ooh, 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 that was a good boat. Oh, that might have been the same boat then. Oh my god, I'm not hitting him. Oh, that was good. He's chilling out under this bridge, man. All right, guys, I'm going to tie on something like a crankbait. Something that maybe I have better luck on. Uh, hooking that actually does this one make noise? No, this one doesn't make noise. I want one that makes noise Maybe the treble hooks will help me catch them Ugh. Yeah, slight bit of noise. That's fine. That'll work Because each time that he's attacked it it was moving so he's He's willing to attack moving baits Gotta be careful though because there's a lot of uh a lot of snags, so I might end up losing this guy. It's okay. I think this one was relatively cheap. All right, nice bright colors, great wobble. Okay, now let's see if I can do this left-handed. Oh, way too far to the right. That's okay. Oh, ooh, something attacked it. Oh, that that was something else. I think that was a pickerel actually. A small pickerel actually went after the crankbait. Second cast with the crankbait, so that's nice. Oh, way too far to the right. Oh, something got it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, something right there attacked it. That's two attacks in a row. Jeez. Crankbase on fire right now. Ooh, ooh, fish. What is this? Is this a little panfish? It is, oh my gosh. A little red breast went after the Whopper Plopper. Look at that madness right there. Oh, but it's starting to rain again. I switched to a Whopper Plopper just to see if it would work, because not much was going after the, uh, the um, what you calls it, the lunker log much anymore. Man, you brave, dude. Look at you. Brave little fella. Wow. Fish. Ooh, is this a pickerel or a bowfin? Oh, it's a bowfin, it's a smaller one. But it's a bowfin. Back to the Guggen, Guggen bait. And uh, we got a bowfin, small one, but still a bowfin. Got it out for you, buddy. Let's get you a secondary camera shot because you deserve it. All right, a little bowfin, but still a bowfin. Love the pattern on them, dot on the back. They look like dinosaurs, but I love them, man. They're awesome. Third fish of the day for the Guggen baits. I think he ended up throwing the lunker log over there. He did. I'll have to get it in a second, but uh, yeah, let's let him go. All right, buddy, gonna let you out. This is near where your bigger friend is. He's in here somewhere, or she. Don't slip in the mud, Tyler. Oh boy. Oh gosh, muddy here. Wee! <laughs> He's 
splash me on the way out, that's okay. Oh boy, it has been a grind for that third fish, man. I used other types of baits, spinner bait, crank bait, uh, whopper plopper just to try. And then I tried the Texas rig again, the Guggen lunker log and uh, got that guy on like the third cast, tying it back on, man. I still got a good amount of time left. I feel kind of horrible though. Like, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm soaking wet and it's hot and muggy, <laughs> but you know, it's worth it. I like being outside. It's, the temperature has dropped significantly, but I am really muggy <laughs> and, and damp and it feels bad, but uh, I still want to fish. So let's, let's get back to it. Fish? Yes. Ooh, this doesn't feel too bad. What are you? What are you? Oh no, I lost you. God dang. I think it was a pretty good pick roll. It was long, it did, but it didn't look like a bow fin, so it was probably a pick roll. Now it's so dark I can't see basically anything. Even with my polarized sunglasses, I don't think I'd be able to see anything. It got really dark again because it started raining. Yeah. I can see even less with the glasses on now. Fish, fish. Oh, it's, just, it's not the big one, but it's, is that the pickerel again? Ah, uh, it's a pickerel. Yep, 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 yep. I wonder if it's the same one. Chill, bro. Ooh. Not on the Guggen bait, but whatever, you know, happy to catch him. Oh boy, brother, brother, brother. Sorry about the fall, but you squirmed your way back in there, fella. It's a long thunderous roar. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna call it a day because it's getting dark and it's lightning. So that's my cue to go. Two bass and one bowfin on the lunker log and then the crankbase is the one that got me the uh, the, the pickerel. That's that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> so what do I think of them? I mean, I, I, they're, they worked, they, they're good. They, they looked, the color looked good. They were a little bigger than I would have liked, but that's my fault. I'm the one who bought them. <laughs> they seem to come apart a little easy. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm biased like for the cheaper brands because I'm, I'm a frugal SOB, but I don't know. It just seems like uh, for half the price you can get uh, a whole pack of uh, yum dingers and get pretty much the exact same, the exact same outcome, I think. But you know they worked, so that's good. If you want to buy them, buy them. They work. So as usual, guys, thank you so much for joining me on this fishing adventure, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.